Sit down. I'll be ready in a minute. I don't believe you're not dressed yet. You worry too much. We have plenty of time. If we're late for work, you'll stop worrying, too. You could find a better girl in the village. I don't like this one. She's a good worker. She's not normal. <laughs> At least I don't have to listen to her idle chatter. You be a good boy now. Mama will be home as soon as she can. <laughs> Flora Garcia, I don't understand you. A deaf girl like this working in your house, taking care of your little one. It makes no sense. I wouldn't trust her if I were you. I always knew he would die. I always knew. You came too late. I should have never had a child. What is she doing here? How are you doing today? How are you today? <laughs> Hello? You know she can't hear a word you're saying. Hello? Hello? Hey, she doesn't talk. 
<laughs> Open your mouth up. Let's see your tongue. Come on. Come on. Hey! Hey! May the good things you give us lead us to the joy of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Why do we have to say Mass so early in the morning, Father? Wasn't there always a six o'clock Mass even before I came? Well, yes, but I think the priest before you wasn't very smart. It was his ignorance that made him want to say Mass so early in the morning. But you, Father, you're a man of intelligence. Besides, who comes to this Mass anyway? Nobody but those three old women. And they only come because they have no place else to go. They need their sleep, Father. Just like you and me. St. Francis helped that man teach him the importance of sleep. Seems uh, like we have a visitor. I don't think it's a good idea. Why not? I'm not going to waste my time teaching the deaf to hear. She'll learn fast. Mamma will show her how to clean the church. And who will teach her to work here in the house? You will, Carmen. You'll do your best, as always. You missed it. There's a spot. You missed it. Hey, hey. You missed it. Yeah.
Wait a minute. You're cheating. I am not. Deuces are wild at all the big casinos. How do you know? How are you, my friend? Fine. What's your pleasure? I'd just like a large glass of water, but plenty of ice. Do you have ice? Do we have ice? Do we have ice? Of course we have ice. Almas is a very modern city. Miguel, do we have any ice? No. All right, I'll just take a large glass of water without the ice. Absolutely pure. Almas has the sweetest water in all Spain. So, my friend, where are you headed? Right here, to Almas. To Almas? You've come purposefully to Almas? Why? I'm interested in churches. I'd like to take a look at yours. Can you direct me? Of course, of course. You go left from here, down to the end of the street. Not the exact yeah. end, but almost. Yeah. Actually, the street just finishes itself. It never ends. But anyhow, you know what I mean. Yeah. You make a left, then a right, and you'll see the church. Yeah, I'm sure I'll find it. I'll find it. You cannot miss it. No, look, I need somebody to look after my car. It's overheated. It's making a whole lot of noise. Of course. My man, Miguel, is the best mechanic in Almas. Miguel, can you fix this gentleman's car? No. Miguel is consistent, isn't he? Forget about Miguel. I have an even better mechanic. Luis! Luis, this gentleman is our guest. He needs someone to look out after his car. Can you help him? This gentleman is a cook. What a very special kind of cook who also fixes cars. Never judge a man by his hat, senor. Yeah, well, whatever you say. Now, look, uh, this is for the water, and I'm going to be back in a while to take a look at the car. All right? So he wants to see our church? He must be a religious man. No, I think he's probably an American ex-priest. What makes you say that? Only an American would wear clothes like that. And I could tell from his eyes that he once was a priest. Bah, you're crazy. He has lost God and he's traveling around trying to find him inside each church he passes. And what if he finds him here, in Almas? If he finds God here, then we have to drink to his health. <laughs> and all the drinks will be on the house. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's one of those rich Americans. And what's more, I think he has come to buy our church. I've heard these rich Americans do strange things. They take apart whole castles. And when they get back to America, they put the bricks together so the castle is exactly as it was before. Oh, are you saying he came all the way to Almas to buy our church so that he could take it with him back to America? In his broken down car? <laughs> <laughs> you can laugh all you want. This stranger would make us rich. Then we really know if the deuces are wild in the big casinos. Excuse me, where would I find the priest? Manuel! There's a stranger inside, Father. I wanted to keep an eye on him.
Don't be frightened. If you work here, you must know where I'm able to find the priest. She won't answer you. She's deaf. Oh, I didn't realize that. I was beginning to think it was me. Uh, my name is Katchen, Larry Katchen. I wonder if you could help me. I'm looking for something. You're an author. Yes, I wrote it. Published it, too. Unfortunately, there isn't much of a market for this sort of thing. I see uh, that your Angelini is a sculptor, and, and from the looks of it, a very good one. Father, I don't mean to be rude, but Francesco Angelini was a genius. His work is among the best of the Italian Renaissance. Uh, sorry, I, I've never heard of it. His that. work was limited. He completed only 12 pieces. But I made a careful study of each one, and there's no doubt. He was one of the masters. There are those that would consider me to be the world's foremost authority on Angelini. I'm sorry. I uh, don't know as much about art as I should. Well, don't be sorry. I mean, most people could care less about this sort of thing. I've gotten used to that. But still, sometimes it's difficult. Father, you have no idea what it feels like to make people aware of somebody like Angelini. For instance, take a look at this. Now, this is Angelini's earliest and least known work. It's my favorite. It's called Holy Family with Child. Yes, it's, it's beautiful. It's magnificent. Unfortunately, this piece no longer exists. It was destroyed uh, in the Second World War, and all that's left are a few photos. War is a shameful thing. But don't you notice anything odd? There. At the bottom, there. The holy infant is missing. You see, that's why I've come. I believe that the child still exists. It could very possibly be right here in Almas. A statue from Italy, uh, here in this village? Exactly. But this is just a poor parish of simple farmers. Yes, yes, I know that, Father. But the first mention of the missing statue is in 1734. That's over 200 years ago. Things were very different then, even in Almas. This was a major city, a trading center on the route between Milano and Madrid. The child could have been stolen and brought here. <laughs> it seems highly unlikely. Well, I've retraced every old trading route between Italy and Spain. Now, in the beginning, you see, I thought it would be further north. Well, it wasn't, so then I started south. I've been on the road for uh, seven years now, almost eight. But I'm sure that the statue still exists. I know I'll find it. And if I don't find it here, then I'll find it in the next town. And uh, what if it isn't in the next town? Then I'll just have to keep looking. Mr. Katchen, you are a man of great faith. Just persistence, Father. Now, tell me, does the church have a cellar? No, I'm afraid not. Or does it have a storage area of any kind? No. Or the statue well, could be hidden anywhere? Uh, no, but please, feel free to stay and look around as much as you like. I must be going now, but if I can be of any help whatsoever. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. It's very kind of you. Very. I ever heard anything so ridiculous. A valuable art treasure here in Almas. All we have in this town is problems, and we have plenty enough without having some crazy foreigner come here to increase the supply. He's not crazy. He's just a man looking for something that may not exist. What is so special about this statue? That really doesn't matter. What's important is that he has the courage to continue looking.
Drinks for everybody. I'm buying. Well, my friend, I see your visit has left you in good spirits. Larry, you can just call me Larry. Of course, why not? We're all friends here. Gentlemen, a toast. To Almas and to the future. You, uh, you visited our church. You, you found it acceptable? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I did. It is in excellent shape for such an old church. Why, every last brick of it is almost like new. Your American friends will be impressed. I really didn't notice the outside very much, but inside, inside, that's where I found what I was looking for. You found him in our church? Yes, I did. Well, how, how did you know it was him? I saw his foot. His foot? More drinks. Come on, everybody. Miguel, you want a drink? No. His foot. I could tell it was authentic when I saw the foot. There it was, gentlemen, that clear A, as clear as gin. That's how Angelini signed all of his work. Angelini? Angelini's lost child. I found him, and I found him in your church. But these are just statues. Exactly, but this, this is a very special statue. This is a very valuable work of art. Valuable? What was it? The girl. The girl who works in the church. She was playing with it. She had it hidden inside the altar. Oh, that statue. I discovered that years ago. What did you think of it? What did I think of it? <laughs> He's a philosopher, this one. <laughs> I thought it was the Christ child. Sir, may I ask, uh, how much is this statue worth? It's utterly and it is totally priceless. Yes, but would people pay to see it? People will come from all over the world to see Angelini's lost child. Of course they'll pay to see it. The tourists will need new roads. Yes, we'll have to build new roads. What about restaurants? Eventually, people will get hungry. I'm tired. We'll need a new hotel. I must already have a hotel. I'll have this place enlarged. We'll need a skyscraper hotel to hold all the people who are going to come to see the child. One with at least, at least 1,000 rooms. I'll add rooms. This discovery will rewrite our history. Angelini's child, alive and well in Almas. Publishers won't treat my next book so lightly. To Almas, the home of Angelini's child, the lost infant has been found. We have come to see the girl. What do you want with her? We have brought her these gifts. We want to thank her for finding the statue. Everyone will benefit now when we have the statue in Almas. She knows nothing about all of this. Are you sure it'll be safe here? Anybody passing by can see it. We have nothing to hide. The child belongs to everyone. It is beautiful. So lifelike. Oh, I don't know what all the fuss is about. It's just a statue like any other. Come now. We all have work to do.
a drink for our writer. Thanks. With ice? Thanks. Get thank you, Warren. The pleasure's mine. Yes, Warren, what is it? Have I mentioned? Is there a part about me in the new book? <laughs> There's something strange about that girl, you know? She's just a deaf girl. What about her family? God only knows. There are stories. But no one knows for sure. to have received the blessing of this marble child, and we must thank God for our good fortune. But we must also be aware of mistaking God's blessing. Yes, Angelini's infant is a material treasure worth much to us. But we must not forget that this statue represents our divine savior, the infant Jesus. It was he who taught us the way of the cross. We must remember this. This statue is a sign of God's eternal love. This is the blessing, not money or material wealth.
you ever die, you can get sick. And you're not even human. What? Uh, 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 What is it, Manuel? It's gone. You should be in church preparing for the morning mass. No, no, the child is gone. It's been stolen. What? Yes, the glass was all broken. The statue is gone. What should we do? I bet the foreigner took it. Should I try to find him? No. No? No, the mass must be celebrated. Go to the church and light the candles. I'll be there in a few minutes. But, but why, what about the thief? I've come for the child. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the statue you've stolen from the church. Has the statue been stolen? <laughs> Playing dumb won't get you anywhere. I know you took it. J just give it back to me, and I won't tell anybody where I got it. I found it first. It's mine. The girl is gone. She did not sleep in her room last night. She took it. We want the foreigner to return our statue. Manuel, you should know better. This man is our guest. He found the child and he'll help us to get it back. We don't want his help. What is the statue? We think we know who took it, and if we're right, we'll have it back very soon. Well, who took it? We have a right to know. We should offer our thanks to God. We don't want sermons, Father. We want the statue. Yes, we want that statue. Yes. We want it, Father. Who stole it? Father, tell us who took it. Please, we have nothing to worry about. It was only the deaf girl. She can't have gone very far. We should have never trusted her. Yeah, Wherever yeah. she goes, she brings bad luck with her. She's the one who brought bad luck to Flora Garcia. She returned our kindness with treachery. What kindness did you ever show her? I gave her a dress. I gave her a perfectly good pair of shoes. Well, your precious gifts are still sitting there, untouched. You gave her only your contempt. Please, go back to your homes. We must have patience. The statue will be returned. Let's find the girl ourselves and get the statue. He's it belongs to us. He's right. He's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. I saw her running toward the mountain. Let's go now.
Hey! Hey, where are you taking us? She headed this way. She can't be far. She might be in the forest to the north. That's miles away. Yeah, my feet are killing me. No, no, we, we can't stop now. We have to get the girl before she destroys the statue. She won't harm the statue, I'm sure of that. She, went to the devil. she must be wrong about her. What are you doing here, anyway? I want to find the statue as much as you do. What do you care about the statue? What do I care about the statue? Are you crazy? I found it. After years of searching from one two-bit town to another. But look, you shouldn't blame this girl. This really isn't her fault. He He's protecting all the that girl. Girl. Him himself. Forget about him. We're wasting time. The longer we wait, the farther away the girl will be. Yes, let's go. Let's go. You don't belong here. If you knew how to read, you'd know how much this means to me. I don't get. Look, I didn't come this far for somebody like you to give me a hard time. <laughs> Father, you have to stop them from finding the girl. I tried. There's nothing I can do. If you don't find this girl first, something terrible will happen. Don't you see? I have nothing to say to them. My words are just sounds. They have no meaning. I am not their priest. But you are her priest. And my priest. Maybe, maybe she went into the forest. You could go with the American in his car. She might be there. And what if she isn't? Then you will just have to find the courage to keep looking. Like our crazy American. Father, the girl has done nothing wrong. You cannot allow any harm to come to her. It was only her love for the statue that made her steal it. Love for a statue? The infant is made of stone. But not for her. For her it is real. We are the ones who are made of stone. We gave her nothing. Perhaps we have nothing to give. But we can change. We can make things different. Carmen, people don't change. Father. I have changed. And so can you. With God's help, we'll find the girl. We have to find that girl. But I don't know where to look. Will you help me? how quickly God answers the prayers of those who know what they're praying for.
the matter? What are you waiting for? What's wrong with you? 